We want to begin on a Thursday morning with that chilling confession from the alleged killer of an eight-year-old boy here in New York City. NBC's Jeff Rossen's in Brooklyn with details on this, and we should warn you that some of the details are disturbing, Jeff. Yeah, they sure are, Matt. Good morning to you. You know, every parent can relate to this. This young boy, this eight-year-old boy, asked his parents over and over again, can I please just walk home from summer camp all by himself? His parents finally relented. They finally said yes. They rehearsed the route. It was only about seven blocks, chose a halfway point. They even ran through it and practiced it together. But when the boy did it all by himself on Monday, he walked right down this street and something went wrong. He got lost right over here at this intersection. He asked a stranger for directions and police say that man took him and then killed him. Wednesday night, thousands mourned the loss of a little boy. <laughs> These are the last images ever taken of eight-year-old Libby Kretzky. Surveillance video showing him walking down the sidewalk Monday on the way to meet his mom. He took a wrong turn and police say asked a man for directions. You can see Libby walking behind him. Minutes later, they walk back and police say Libby gets into the man's car never to be seen again. My pain is because I know the kid. I saw him, he's very friendly, very nice boy, very nice boy. Somebody has a car. After days of searching, police got a tip from a dentist's office on the block where Libby disappeared. Police rushed to the home of 35-year-old Levy Aaron. When detectives asked where the boy was, Aaron nodded toward the kitchen, where detectives observed blood on the freezer handle of the refrigerator. Law enforcement sources tell NBC News Aaron confessed, telling them he drove Libby to a wedding, then brought him to his house, where Libby watched TV, then fell asleep. The next day, Aaron told police he saw the flyers about Libby's disappearance and told them, I panicked and was afraid, went for a towel to smother him. Police say the boy's body was dismembered with body parts found in a suspect's freezer and a nearby dumpster. Police sources say the confession ends, I understand this may be wrong, and I'm sorry for the hurt that I have caused. I'm still in shock. I need some time to, pro to process what's happening in this neighborhood. This is a tight-knit community where Hasidim, ultra-Orthodox Jews, live together and protect each other. Libby was Hasidic, his accused killer, an Orthodox Jew. This was not some stranger who came from somewhere else. Someone from within the community. Aaron lived with his father, worked at a hardware store. No record of violent crime. He's divorced, once married to this woman. And I never once saw anything out of the ordinary or anything like that, ever. Aaron's lawyer had only this to say. Our condolences to the family of the victim, and at this time we're going to let the judicial process take its course. No further comment. Aaron is now charged with second-degree murder here in New York City. And Matt, we're told that investigators may actually dig up his backyard later today, searching for evidence of other crimes. All right, Jeff Rawson for us in Brooklyn this morning. Jeff, thank you very much.